So in this video we will be posting the or sending the form data to the web API method. So basically we are trying to send the department name to the post web API method so that we can uh, we insert the department name into the database. So let's go back to the department service. Inside the services folder we have department service. So let's add a post department I mean the add department method okay which accepts a department type object okay and then it's going to return this dot HTTP dot post we're going to post to this dot API URL plus slash department and what are we sending the we are sending the department object okay and then internally the API is going to get the department object and uh, you know extract the department name from department object and it's going to insert into the database so we'll get the department object here we're going to extract that department name from department object we're not using department ids for addition method for post method so we want to insert the department name and it's going to generate the id okay so we're going to have to call the add department method in uh, in add department.ts right so let us call the add department inside the on submit so instead of doing the console.log we will say this dot service dot add department what are we sending we are sending form dot value and dot subscribe so we're going to wait until we get the response and once we get the response we are going to display the response right we have to show whether the addition was successful or not but before that we're going to do this dot reset form so that it initialize reinitializes the value and we're going to say alert and uh, response we're going to display the response in the alert box so i guess that's it so we'll see if that thing works so let's click on departments add department so let's see what are the things where finance it support operations so let's add development ment and uh, click on add department and wait for the response we see that added successfully message has been displayed in the alert box so we'll click on ok and click on close and we see that the department is not visible so that's because we are not refreshing the grid after we close the model dialog box but if we refresh the complete URL I guess then we'll be able to see the changes so we can see the development is added <coughs> so in the next video we'll understand we'll see how to refresh the grid on uh, on closing the uh, model window